the same. You know, I'm telling you what, he done a good job. He did. Boy, ain't it good to have young folks on the show like that? Ain't it good? Y'all get my hand out. We ain't got good young folks like that, like Josh and Phoebe and Michael. We ain't got them kind of good folks, young folks down there. Some of them folks down there, some of them young ones are not heads. They are, they are, they're not heads down there. You take Ned Niedermeyer. Ned Niedermeyer, he's about the meanest boy I ever known in all my life. He is, he's mean. Stayed in trouble all the time. You know, he did. When, when Ned was, when Ned Niedermeyer was a little bitty boy, he got in trouble all the time. He did. He run around with Billy Butternut. Ned Yeah. And Ned Niedermeyer and Billy Butternut, they was in trouble all the time. They was. So their daddies got together one time and they decided that they would straighten them boys out. They would. They would straighten them out. So they decided they sent them down there, that old preacher man down there at the church house after they got in trouble one time. And they talked to the preacher and he said, yep, I'll straighten them boys out. So sure enough, they pulled, they tied some cattails together or something. They done something bad. So the daddies gathered them up and took them down to that old church house and they took them in there where the preacher does his study and they set them down on a bench. And the preacher called Ned Niedermeyer in there first. Ned Niedermeyer went in there and he said, Ned Niedermeyer, close the door. He did. He closed the door. And he set him down there and he went to talk to him. He said, Ned, Ned Niedermeyer, you know you've done wrong. Where is God? Ned Niedermeyer looked up and said, I don't know, preacher. Preacher talked to him a little bit more. He said, Ned Niedermeyer, where is God? Ned Niedermeyer looked up and said, I don't know, preacher. Preacher boy, he got on him. I'm talking about his a wearing him out. He said, Ned Niedermeyer, where is God? Ned Niedermeyer just jumped up and run out. Busted plumb through the door. Billy Butternut was sitting there. He said, Ned Niedermeyer, what's the matter? He said, no man alive. God's missing and the preacher thinks we got him. <laughs> talking about them boys were so mean when he got a little bit older him and Billy Butternut they was always doing something they was he's always doing something and old man Niedermeyer that's Ned Niedermeyer's grandpa old man Niedermeyer when he put built the outhouse on the Niedermeyer place he built it up on a bluff hill up by the creek one day Ned Niedermeyer Billy Butternut was just a walking around kicking a can. And he looked up on that hill yonder, and there that outhouse stood. Ned Niedermeyer grinned. He said, Billy. Billy said, Boy. He said, Let's go up there and push the outhouse in the creek. So them boys went up there and they huffed and puffed and they pushed that outhouse off in the creek. When I'm talking about. Right off in the creek. They run, them boys run. Later that evening, Ned Niedermeyer's daddy come up and said, Ned, come here and they talk to you. He said, what, Dad? He said, you and Billy Butternut push that outhouse in the creek? He said, no, Daddy, we didn't push no outhouse in the creek. He said, Ned, let me tell you a little story. He said, a long time ago, before our country got started, there was a fella named George Washington. He was a little fella. And one day he got his daddy's hatchet. And he went out in the yard and he cut down his daddy's favorite cherry tree. George Washington's daddy come to him. He said, George, did you cut down that cherry tree with my hatchet? George Washington said, I could not tell a lie. Yes, daddy, I cut down the cherry tree. Well, George Washington's daddy was so proud of him, he didn't whoop him or nothing. He rewarded him for being honest and having integrity. He looked at Ned and said, Now, Ned, you push that outhouse in the creek. Ned looked down and kicked the ground. He said, Yeah, Daddy, I did. He said, Well, I tell you what, boy, you go up to the house and on the way up there, you get you a willow limb. He said, But, Daddy, George Washington didn't get no whooping because he told the truth. 
Then Lady Meyer's daddy said, yeah. George Washington's daddy wouldn't end that cherry tree when he cut it down. <laughs> they was mean. To this day, them boys is mean. They are. They're mean. I'm talking about. They got an old milk cow down there. They go. They got an old milk cow, old Jersey cow down there. She gives pretty good milk. I'm telling you, it ain't bad. I'm telling you. Old man Niedermeyer, he loves milk and cornbread. He does. That fresh cow milk and cornbread. Any of y'all like that? Raise your hand. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That stuff is Larry, I'm talking about. Old man Niedermeyer likes milk and cornbread. Ned Niedermeyer goes down and helps old man Niedermeyer, and he goes down there and milks that old Jersey milk cow. And they got they got to Idy one time, him and Billy Butternut, on the way back up to the house with that bucket. Ned Niedermeyer slipped him a cup of moonshine off in that milk. Old man Niedermeyer, he drank that milk, that wet cornbread, never knew nothing about it. Never did. You got to understand, old man, Ned, old man Niedermeyer, he's a church going fellow. Would never touch no alcohol. Every day they'd go out and milk that old milk cow, bring that bucket back, he'd slip him a little moonshine in. Old man Niedermeyer, he drank it all. After about a month of that, he was done up to about half a jug off in that thing. Well, times got hard around the farm, and they was beginning to sell off some livestock. Just, you know, go buy groceries and stuff, because times was tough. Old man Niedermeyer sitting out on that porch, Rocky. And he asked Ned, he said, Ned... You been a selling off stuff, have you? He said, yeah. Yeah, Grandpa, I have. He said, well, let me tell you what, boy. Whatever you do, don't sell that old Jersey milk cow. <laughs> I had a request a while back. Now, what is that? I had a request. This here is a gazoola phone. It is an ancient instrument of frog hair holler. And it is, it, it, it keeps us entertained down there. And so I had a request to dig this thing up and to play it for you tonight. And so we're gonna try it. So y'all bear with us, cause I'm kinda out of practice. And, and we're gonna try and do something juky so you can kinda get loosened up in your seats. I kinda noticed some of you was a fade in the face. Quit all that wiggling there, you're gonna hurt somebody. <laughs> Y'all should have seen her, that old boy sitting next to her. <laughs> Teach you to show off in this show, this is my deal, girls. <laughs> We're gonna play it this here as a drinking song, I guess, because it's named after a whiskey or something. And so, y'all see if y'all can figure the words out by the end of the song, all right? Fellas, y'all think y'all can kind of give me a little rhythm there? What do you think, folks? Play your hands. That's what I'm talking about.
folks, we fixing to break it down real, real. I'm telling you, we fixing to do it.